Hello friends, this video on food production enhancement part 3 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So let us now talk about poultry farm management. So this is management of domesticated birds for eggs or meat for human consumption. Now as I said, there are a certain set of birds which lay eggs and those eggs are consumed by human beings. In fact, their meat is also directly consumed by a lot of human beings. Now how do we take care of these birds and what are the things that need to be kept in mind in order to ensure that these birds are healthy again because the eggs are coming out of their body. So if you are eating the bird itself, the meat of the bird, so basically you are eating the bird itself. So if the bird is not healthy, so what will happen? If you eat a diseased bird, what will happen? You will also suffer from a disease because it is end of the day going inside your body. So proper management of these birds are required. So what are the birds that fall under poultry farm management? Chickens, or ducks or goose or so all these birds or turkey they all fall under poultry farm management and what do we get out of them so from these we get meat or eggs so these are the products that we get or the food products that we receive from these birds now more common of these are the chickens and the duck so they are more commonly used at least in India So let us again see that how can we maintain a co the quality of a poultry farm. So here in the picture you can actually see how a poultry farm looks like. So you can see all the birds have been kept inside the cages and then you, you can also see the trays carrying the eggs laid by these birds. So as soon as the eggs are being laid they should be like taken out and then they can be sold for human consumption. Now the way they are being stored, it is very important to again maintain quite a few things. For example, selection of good quality breeds. Now there are many breeds. Now what are breeds? You might be seeing that I am using the term breed quite often. What it is? Now you can say that breeds are nothing but different varieties of the animal which all belong to the same species. Like how you have that different species. So one species means all animals belonging to one particular species, they will be able to reproduce amongst themselves. But within that species also, we see a lot of differences between different animals. So one species can have multiple breeds and organisms in one breed will have more resemblance when compared to uh, an animal of another breed. So these are basically different varieties of animals which all belong to the same species. Now it is important to select the good quality breeds, those breeds which lay more eggs and which are like resistance free, I mean more having higher resistance against diseases so they are so that they, they, they can fight against diseases better. So as I said selection of good quality breeds and selection of disease resistant breeds. Now, when I talk about disease resistant breeds, I just remembered uh, you would have heard the outbreak of bird flu. So what was that bird flu? That bird flu happened because when a person ate a chicken or uh, a bird which was already diseased. So that caused an infection inside the human body. So the bird flu was a kind of influenza which was caused by the viruses that are mostly adapted to birds. Now so when a bird is diseased so it has that virus inside its body. Now when you eat that particular bird what happens the virus gets inside your body. Now since the virus is pathogenic so it, it has the ability to cause diseases. So the virus once it enters your body it will cause that disease and then you are then it is said that you are suffering from bird flu. So this is how different diseases can happen if a disease diseased bird is being eaten or egg from a diseased bird is being eaten. Now proper feeding of the bird is important again quite clear if the bird is healthy the eggs will be healthy and for a good health of the bird it is important that it is given proper food in terms of both quality as well as quantity. Cleanliness again the same thing because we do not want diseases to attack the birds. So clean food, clean drinking water should be ensured so that the birds can remain disease free. 
health care again the birds also need to be regularly visited by doctors or they should be checked for any diseased symptoms in them now as i said uh, there are certain viruses for example the pathogenic strain of the virus h5n1 it, it attacks mostly the chicken and the farm birds mostly 84 percent of it attacks the chicken and the farm birds and maybe only 15 percent attacks the wild birds and now we are not bothered about the wild birds because we do not eat the wild birds we mostly eat the farm birds now since these kind of viruses are more uh, easily i mean they mostly attack the farm birds so it is all the more important to take care that the birds which are being kept in the poultry they are all disease free and they are healthy so these are some of the things that should be noted to ensure a quality poultry farm. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for an easy four-step learning process absolutely free of cost. Watch video lessons, ask questions, refer notes and take an online test. Thank you once again.